Hello everybody, Rose Thorne here. Today I'm reacting to Foodie Beauty's live stream, which she just finished up called The Lies of My Lover's Past. So this live stream, she talks about Roman and her encounters with Roman. I guess because Roman is not claiming that he had any kind of intimate contact with Foodie. So she's here saying, oh yes, we did, so forth and so on. So I wanted to react to it. So let me just share the screen so you guys can see what I'm looking at. And there's Foodie. But before we get into that, there's a few things I'd like to show you, things that I found on Twitter. So in the last react that I did of Foodie, she claims that she's never gaslighted people. She's never lied to people. I'm sorry, Foodie. I have got evidence that says otherwise. So let's see. Let's start with this lie having to do with your filters. So Foodie had the live stream on herself and she hit a button by mistake and the filters glitched up. So let's watch this clip right here. Let me just blow it up full screen. There's Foodie. So her filters glitched out. And as you can see by this clip, there's no narrow pointy chin. Her face is perfectly round. And then and then right here is when the filters corrected themselves. So going back, she held them by mistake. As you can see, she's she's trying to hide it. She's trying to hide the fact that the filter is glitched out. She's waiting for the filters to kick back in. In the meantime, she's hiding her chin. Now the filters are working. So there's that, Foodie. Evidence of your filters. Here's some more evidence of your filters and how well they work for you. So I found this clip on Twitter. And just mattifies everything, see? <sighs> you guys realize that like movie actors and movies, they use filters, right? Like super filtered, just so you know. Yeah, but you're not a movie star and you're not a celebrity. You're not a celebrity, Foodie. You're someone on YouTube. And you know what? You're right. A lot of people do use filters. People on Instagram, people on Snapchat, people do use filters. But the thing is, you lie about using filters. You're trying to say, I'm a natural queen and I don't use filters. But look what a difference those filters make. Over here on the left is you when you're filtered with the pointy chin. Over here, not filtered. This is your real natural face. This is the natural shape of your face. What a difference those filters make. Get away, fuck. Filtered. No, you're just jealous. You need to filter your jealousy. <laughs> That's the only thing that needs filtering is your jealousy, which is embarrassing. You know, if you came out and said to people, yes, I use filters. I'm on YouTube and I use filters to alter my appearance. People would be able to cope with that a lot better. But you're trying to say I'm a natural queen and I don't use filters. Here's another one. Another interesting clip courtesy of Kristen. And this is Foodie getting mad at somebody for simply asking her, did you get your steps in today? Because she talked about getting like 2,000 or 5,000 steps to kind of put herself in better health. And this is what she had to say to that person. No, I didn't get my steps in today. And actually, just because you said that, I'm going to lay in bed all fucking day and do negative steps. How do you like that, bitch? So why go after this person? They did a super chat 
and they're asking you a simple question. Did you get your steps in today? Why is that an offensive question? You said you were gonna get your steps in every day, that that was part of the glow up. Why get mad at that person, booty? See, you can't take any kind of criticism or people asking you questions because depending on your mood, you're gonna get mad at people. Moving back over here to this lies of my lover's past live stream, she talks about Roman. She's bothered because Roman isn't claiming intimate contact with her. So let's get to, let's get to, shall we? You passed out waiting for to the will. I got a float. I'm twisting this tea float. And I got to figure out what I'm doing later today. <coughs> All right. Hi, Tiffany. Hi, everyone. Um, <laughs> your dates are confused which box to touch. So, this, this is about Roman. I heard you say that I'm not your type and that we were just friends. Okay, we're just friends now, but no, no, no. <clears throat> I'm tired of dudes. Okay, I heard him say I'm not like a natter in that. You know, I don't do this to women. I don't do that to women. Okay, that might be true. But you lie like him. <laughs> I'm tired of men who come into contact with me getting a following and then denying me. So no, it's not going to fly. It's not going to fly, Roman. We met on Plenty of Fish. Don't make me prove it. And we fuck, you invited me over. To, I picked you up at the clinic. We went to your house. I pooed on over Kiwi and we made out. Oh, there's so much wrong with everything she just said. Hold on. Wait a minute. Um, okay, so you met on Plenty of Fish. That's a singles dating hookup site. Nothing wrong with that. But you picked him up at the clinic. Girl, a first date and you're picking somebody up at a clinic. Why? Just why? You picked him up at the clinic for what? What was he at the clinic for? Why was your first date a clinic? Why? <laughs> if you're picking somebody up for a first date at a clinic, that by itself is a red flag that somebody you should stay away from. Maybe that they're kind of on the unsafe side. I mean... I've heard of first dates being at a coffee shop or a bookstore or at a restaurant, but at a clinic. And I'm sensing a theme, Booty, when it comes to you and your men. I'm sensing a bit of a pattern here. And the pattern is you flaunt your money, you flaunt the fact that you're on YouTube and you're a big deal, or so you think, on YouTube. You're flaunting yourself and your money at these men. And they do only what they need to do to get what they can get out of you. But they don't really want anything to do with you. You're just a means to an end. They have no real attraction to you as a person. They're attracted to what you can give them, what you can offer them. And once they get it, they have no use for you. They take it as far as they want to take it and then they leave the rest alone. I'm sensing that theme going on here that every man that you encounter they bat their eyes at you, you bat your eyes back, you open your wallet you help them out in some way, and then once they get what they want, they dump you. But how desperate do you think you sound right now that you're ticked off because Natter won't claim you, 
And here you are talking about Roman. You're desperate to hear Roman claim that you guys had some sort of intimate contact. Imagine that, being so desperate that you want someone like Roman to claim the two of you were intimate in some way. I've seen Roman. I'm sorry. I He's no prize either. So why are you so desperate to have him step forward and say, yes, the two of us made out or something? That's nothing to brag about. You couldn't keep your hands off of me. And to be fair, I, we did, I did make out with him back. <clears throat> You like the way I soft moaned when we were kissing. I remember that. You said it. You said it. <laughs> now, he also said he's a very private person. So I understand him not wanting me to say that. But what's the big fucking deal in saying that you made out with somebody? Well, I'll tell you what the big deal is. If you were the kind of woman that you took care of yourself, you know, you've got a good reputation, you've got your act together, more than likely a man would say, yes, I made out with this woman or I had sex with this woman. But because you've made it your business to be the biggest train wreck on YouTube, you've made it your business to be the most offensive, foul, vulgar person on YouTube, no man wants to be associated with that. Nobody wants to be linked to someone like that. I don't think it's about your weight, Booty. I don't think your weight is why men don't want to claim you. It's because of everything else you do and the things that you say. The fact that you come on camera and you pick your nose and you pick your ears and you bar burp and you fart and you live in filth. That's embarrassing. No man wants to be linked to that. And certainly no man is going to admit to do, being intimate with somebody like that, even if they have. So I don't know what you and Roman did together personally, but are you not sensing that pattern that I'm sensing over here that you were with Natter? He did not want to claim you. He did not want to be with you. He did not want to claim that any kind of intimacy happened. And Roman is doing the same thing. Why is it that every man who has been with you doesn't want to admit to being with you? I don't think it's the weight. I think it's the fact that you're just so over the top, gross, vulgar, and offensive that no man wants to admit any kind of contact with somebody like yourself. But we know he wanted the fupa. <laughs> so, no, it's because Happy B Day. He just said this yesterday in his live stream. So, <laughs> And I have two missed calls in my Instagram box, which I know you tried to call me during your live stream, I'm sure, to get me up on your panel. So you're going to use me because this is my point right now, Happy Beat It. So clean your fucking ears. All right? He's irrelevant. I know. But so what? So, no, but the thing is, all of those people you have, all the little trolls you have over there having fun in your live chat and everyone else, all the nice people you have over there is because of me. So I'm tired of men, you know, acting like I'm nothing or I'm gross or I'm not their type when you had your fucking tongue down my throat Ew. and any platform you have right now, anybody you have on your platform, it's thanks to me, all of those people in your live stream used to be my fans, or a lot of them are my fans. 
So I'm tired of that shit. So that's all I'm going to say about that. You know, foodie, you don't want to be used. You don't like the idea of being used. And yet the way you present yourself to men, you set yourself up to be used. You present yourself as being sleazy, easy, ready to go. Hey, let's go hang out at a motel and get busy. I'll bring the condoms. I'll bring the drugs. I'll bring whatever you want as long as we get busy. You present yourself that way. But you put yourself out there to be used. You walk up to guys and you put the only thing on the table that you have of value. Meaning the fact that you're on YouTube and you've got a 90K plus channel. Don't tell me you don't do that. You boast about that with the men, I'm sure. And you get their attention. You use the fact that you're on YouTube and making that YouTube money as a hook. And you put the bait on the hook. Yeah, I've got a 90K plus channel. I'm making 10,000 plus a month. Hang out with me. You know, maybe I'll throw you some money or this, that, and the other thing. You put that out there. So is it any wonder that the men that you encounter, those that might be lacking in funds or wanting a quick, good time, take you up on your offers? Can you really get mad at that? When you put yourself out there that way, when you present yourself that way and guys use you, it's because you allow yourself to be used. It's because you have no interest in just getting to know people, talking to people, approaching people with a sense of, I have no expectations. I just want to get to know people as people and talk to them and figure out who they are before I let them close to me. You're in such a hurry to get what you want. And you take the attitude of, well, I put my wig on and I put my makeup on and I bathe myself in perfume. Something better go down. I better get some booty tonight or I better get a relationship out of it. And you wonder why men run away from you. The entitled bratty, you owe me narcissistic attitude. It's, it's such a turnoff. It's tolerable for a short period of time, but not for the long term. I'm not beefing with him. I'm not going to read him out, but you're not going to sit there and lie. Thank you. <laughs> no, Tessa, Tessa, you don't get it. You don't get it. Ugh, I hate this thing. I'll kick you out. Bye. <laughs> I did block Tessa. All right, so, and I'm not unblogging anybody for your private information. Um, oh, I thought Tessa was, I can't deal with this. I'm getting tired of the blocking and just blocking us. Like, I'm tired. I don't want to worry about this, like, appealing to everyone's needs because they don't like somebody. You know what I mean? I honestly just want to fucking be. I don't want to have to worry about this shit. I don't like this person. Can you block them? I don't like that. I'm tired of that too. Uh, seriously. Welcome to YouTube. You have a YouTube channel. You're going to have people that troll you in live chats and in comments. That's just part of YouTube. Not every person that you talk to or that wants to talk to you is going to be nice. <sighs> How I feel, I honestly just want to quit YouTube sometimes. Then do it. How many times have you 
threaten that foodie. Oh, I'm just going to quit. Why haven't you done it? You know you'll never quit. You know you'll never quit. What else do you have besides YouTube to make money? Nothing. <laughs> Pregnancy together, nine months, holy crap. That's a long time. <laughs> Karen, I love you. Raise it, repeat. Thank you for being here. Never, never hear me say that name. Yeah. Now I'm really starting to believe that he's just a clout chaser. Like, dude, I'm not your type. Like, you're not my type either. And you would be very lucky to have me. I will have you know. I'm a okay, make it make sense. So Roman isn't your type. That's what you just said. So if he's not your type, why are you so desperate for him to say, yeah, we made out? Why are you so desperate to have any man step forward and say, yes, I had sex with Booty Beauty or I made out with Booty Beauty? Where's this desperation coming from? Is that you just being desperate to prove to the rest of the world that you're desirable in some way to some person? It kind of sounds like it. Because I've seen Natter and I've seen Roman Ain't neither one of them a blue ribbon prize as far as men go. If anything, I would be ashamed to admit that I had any kind of intimacy with either one of them. But you're so desperate for anybody to say, yeah, I made out with her. I starfished with her. We made out together. Girl, why? Natter and Roman are both just sad excuses for men. But you're mad because he won't claim you, but yet you're right here saying he's not my type either. So what's this live stream all about? You're putting him on blast for not admitting the two of you were intimate. You're saying, oh, we were intimate. We made out and da 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 If he's not your type, then why does it bother you so much? A very, you know you would have a fun life. Give it a fucking break. I'm tired of these people acting like, give me a break. Like, who's better? I've been watching for a lot longer than this. Happy to be here and enjoy the beezing. J Boy, me too. Ready to be me, J Boy. <laughs> Am I going to be going to Cuba? I love, I love that. I don't even have to read these crappy, these crappy super chats anymore. <laughs> Ugly mermaid. <laughs> Welcome to Vanport Beezers, Brady Shit Bees. Guess who has a chicken and bacon and turtle from Costco? Yummy, Lizzie. Oh my god, I <laughs> bewildered Sam. Food. I'm gonna go shower and everything. I'll go like Thursday. I have a lot of trolls but then I also have a lot of people <laughs> who are normal. I don't know. So any plans for tonight? Um well yeah I'm ooh enjoy Lindsay Get up with me. You must have been attracted to me because you made out with me. Or you're nah if a guy is a grifter and a scammer 
or he's a desperate guy looking for something. They don't have to be attracted to you to make out with you. They could be making out with you thinking, I got it. This is what I got to do to get a certain something out of somebody. And in your case, Roman was looking at you and say, well, if the two of you did make out, I guarantee you, I know what he was thinking. He wasn't thinking, oh, she's so attractive. She's so sexy. This is so hot. He was thinking, yeah, I need money and I want to make it on YouTube. I can kind of borrow some of her success to be my success. That's where his head was at. The benefits. There's that common theme again, foodie. Guys that look at you and look at the benefits of being around you. Natter did it, and so did Roman. They're just looking for a piece, but still, you have to be some, like, give me a break. And then you, like, no. And then they want to use you for, like, the platform or whatever else. But to be fair, foodie, to be absolutely fair, it kind of goes the other way, too. Because just as Natter and Roman used you to get on YouTube, to borrow off your audience, to get subscribers and get views and all that. At the same time, you use them as content for your channel. You needed content. You needed someone to talk about. And so you talked about Natter. You're still talking about Natter. And you're talking about Roman. So you use them and they used you. The using went both ways. You're not a victim in this. You made a point to bring Roman onto your channel, same thing with Natter, and they both became content for you. And in return, they both got channels and they got subscribers. <clears throat> Men always do that when they're turned down. It's just like, you're going to make it seem, you know what I mean? It's like, whatever, whatever. No one believes you. Why would I lie about that? Okay. Because you lie about everything else? Number one. No, number one. Why would I lie? Okay. Because you're a liar. That's what you do. You lie and you sell your lies on YouTube for money. Why? <laughs> Girl, get it together with the camera. I'm going to Best Buy and I'm spending a thousand dollars on a stand that will hold my phone like this. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, you know, foodie. You wonder why men won't claim you. Here you are on a live stream talking to lots and lots of other people, and you're sitting there literally picking your nose on camera and rolling your boogers between your fingers, girl. And you wonder why men won't claim you. It's just stuff like that. You know, they're kind of gross. They were eating a bag of cookies in reaction channels, Roman and that or other rats following you. Hi, Zara. It's true, Applebee's. Okay, sorry, my nose ring is itchy. Ugh. It is itchy. Why? Look, you're picking her nose. All right. He said that we met on we met online. He was like, we met on the internet. He wouldn't even say dating app. Met on the internet. We had uh, we met to do a video. That's it. That's all. Why would I meet you specifically? Just to do a video. Because content. You're always looking for content. And you realized a long time ago that you doing stuff by yourself after a certain point, it got really boring. So you started reaching out to other people to keep things interesting, to keep the profit going. That's why you brought on Natter. And then Dee, Dee got added. And then Roman. You said a long time ago, you always wanted your own reality show, but you did not like the restrictions of a real reality show plus you also said that reality shows don't pay enough by doing the drama on your channel you can control the narrative you can make the most money you can bring people in or shove them out whenever you feel 
This is your version of your own reality show without the restrictions of a real reality show. So that's why you brought on Roman. It was something new and interesting to keep people watching because you by yourself, not to be rude, but you're not interesting enough, foodie. You don't even try to be interesting enough. Could you be interesting? Perhaps, but that would require work and not talking about the same stuff over and over. You wanna talk about the same stuff and periodically bring different people in to keep the interest level there. Like what? Oh, or man, unless she's saying, okay, yes, I did kind of use him to make. Kind of, you know you did. Okay, here's the thing. With Roman, I was looking for somebody to help me get over Natter. You were looking for Natter 2.0. You brought Natter on, you thought, I can control this one. You found out that you can't control him. So you're looking for Natter 2.0. Somebody younger, somebody who wasn't as aggressive in nature. You were looking for a version of him that was a bit more gentle in demeanor that you, that you could control. So you brought on Roman. You thought I can start over with Roman, but yet Roman doesn't want to claim you either. He's not romantically interested in you. He's not sexually interested in you. If you guys had some sort of an encounter, guarantee you it was because he felt that's this is what I have to do to get my foot in the door, to get on YouTube, to get subscribers and to get those views. Now, if the two of you had an encounter, and money and YouTube were not a factor, I would say, yes, maybe his interest in you was genuine, but whenever there's money involved or success involved, you gotta look at those things. And also, Natter and Roman think they're no bull rat. All men do is lie. <laughs> Internet. Um, but also, um, to help me make matter jealous. So well obviously that didn't work. What? <laughs> Kiwi knows the truth. We made out a lot. This is how you get busted in your lives, booty. You go too far. You got to stay within the parameters of what's believable. That's how you make a lie and sell a lot of people that they will actually buy. When you go too far, you exaggerate too much, then it becomes obvious that you're lying. Oh, we made out a lot. I seriously doubt that. A lot. <laughs> Girl, it's sad how much she hate you get in these comments. I didn't realize. <laughs> right? <clears throat> Poor me. I don't I don't know. It doesn't even bug me that much though. Except it did yesterday, but today it doesn't. If it doesn't bother you that much, then why do you delete half your comments? honest question if it doesn't bother you that much then why do you go to the comments section and delete half the comments if you're such an unbothered queen sounds like you're very very bothered by the comments roman wants to use just like the rest of them pathetically bad i know did i make up with kiwi yes what? I tried to. Kiss Ew! That's a bird. Anyway, I don't know. I might see. I might have plans with someone later. Yeah, I bet I know who Natter. Because if it were anybody else but Natter, you drop a name. You're not dropping the name. You're just saying someone, and that smirk on your face just says it all. 
pull him. <laughs> no, no, these men are not doing that anymore to me. Mm -mm, no. Sorry. No. I don't care how private you are. I mean, I, I, I respect people's privacy, but... No, you don't. You're a liar. You don't respect anybody's privacy. You'll dog somebody in a, in a New York minute. You have no respect for anyone's privacy. And that's another reason why you'll never have a man stick around that's worth anything because a lot of people, they have private lives. Your reputation is trash. Anyone that gets within five feet of you for just five minutes, they're going to get doxxed on Kiwi Farms. Their profiles are going to be doxxed, which also means anybody that they're connected to are going to be doxxed. Their family members, their children, their relatives. It's too much. It's too much for a lot of people. There's a lot of decent people out there that they have families, they have friends, they have jobs. They don't want to deal with all of the toxicity that comes with knowing you. You're not going to, at least you're not, you're not, at least not going to clout chase and use my name without friggin' admitting fully the real reason I even know you. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not going to fly that way. Not going to fly. Not going to fly. Well, if I meet, that's the thing, bewildered Sam. Like, they act like knowing me would be a bad thing. Like, excuse me. It is. Listen, for anyone who is interested in making a YouTube channel, it's better to grow your channel organically, to make your channel about who you are as a person, your interests, your passions, than to try to piggyback off of somebody else's success. Because if that person in question you're trying to piggyback off of has an image and a reputation like Foodies and you get linked to that, it's gonna be hard to fix in the future. It's better to do things the right way, to do it slowly and organically than to try to get in the fast lane and get a bunch of subscribers and views very, very quickly, because then you're forever linked to somebody like her. And as far as her being a brand, her reputation, her image, it's the worst. Why do you think she has a 90K channel and nobody is sponsoring her? She should have a bunch of companies wanting to make her into someone that sponsors their product. Ain't nobody stepping forward. That tells you everything you need to know about Flutie. If brands and companies aren't calling her up to say, hey, you know, do you want to sponsor this product and we'll pay you? That her reputation is so bad that um, if she, she's got almost a thousand K subscribers, ain't nobody stepping forward to be a representative of their company. And there's lots of channels on YouTube that are much, much smaller that companies contact all the time and say, hey, you want to sponsor our product and we'll pay you and da 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 da. Ain't nobody doing that with Foodie. Nobody. Me? Who are you? You're more boring than me. Nobody even knows who you are. Like, you are lucky to know me. Thank you very much. Y you mean unlucky to know you. Fuck, <laughs> I need to start really really being picky. you know i don't know what she tells these people that she brings on youtube if she paints a different picture or she tells people oh yeah i got a 90k channel and i'll help you make a channel and grow a channel and then later on those people find out just how toxic and well known on youtube she is and by that time it's too late but again if you're someone you're looking to jumpstart your YouTube channel and you get linked to the wrong people, it, it, it takes quite a while to kind of reverse that. I hear about who I give my time to. 
I wanted to tell you, however long. Some of us mind that we got your back, whatever you wanted to. Take it like a couple hours before I go to bed. These are chugger, James. Oh. Hi, Faith. Okay, listen. <clears throat> Huge B. I was watching some of your old videos. You've lost a lot of weight. What? She's lost a lot of weight. Where? Because Foodie's been confessing lately that she's. Let's see, she did one where she said she's 473 pounds, and then another one where she said she's 500. I don't know her exact weight, but I would say she is in the neighborhood of 500. So where exactly did she lose weight? When did this occur? She's not even exercising, and she's not cutting back her portion sizes. Thank you, yeah. I think compared to my old videos, yeah, my face was a lot bigger. It's big now. It's just that now you're using more filters to cover it up. Okay. I mean, hold on a minute. Let's go back. I mean, what is this? You guys see it. Filtered picture on the left. Unfiltered picture on the right. Does that even look like the same person? And just mattifies it. Pointed chin on the left, not pointed chin on the right. You've not lost weight, foodie. You've gained a bunch of weight. There's no way you can lose weight without cutting back your calories, watching your portion sizes, and burning off the calories that are already stored on your body, ma'am. Come to Hawaii unless you want to be broke your second day here. Really, Tavi? It's expensive? Yeah. I mean, okay. I don't mind being friends with Roman. <laughs> you know what? I, you know what? Why I think she wants to be friends with Roman, because she looks at him as someone easy to control, someone that's easily influenced. He's not headstrong like Natter. And Roman probably looks at her and sees her as someone that could offer him something, and she looks at Roman as someone that can offer her something. So, just like with Pete, she keeps him around. Notice that all the men in her life are needy. They need her around for something. There's not a single man around her that is strong and independent and doesn't necessarily need foodie. She creates that codependency of need with all the men around her. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean now, Applebee's. He was happy to see you, so why pretend? <laughs> I know. Kiwi Farms confirmed Roman is flirting with Sarah Jane. <laughs> um, no. No, I mean, I don't. His audience is, well, some. No traumatizing three ways yet. No, but like, you know what I mean? I know he's a private person, but what's wrong with being like, yes, we kissed? I don't know. When somebody says they're a private person, foodie, that means they don't talk about what they do in their personal lives, whether it's an intimate nature or not. So if somebody says, I'm a private person, that means they don't talk about their business and neither should you. But you don't care if somebody's a private person. You just, anything and everything to you is YouTube content. So you don't give a flip about anybody's privacy. All you care about is something new to talk about on your channel to make money. Oh, like what's the big deal in that? Give me a break. <laughs> no, I don't want to report him or 
anything bad to happen to him or anything like that. I'm just, I'm just like, I'm sort of teasing. I'm not like super mad at him or anything, but I'm just like. <clears throat> so what was the point of this live stream? You were acting annoyed because he said that the two of you didn't do anything intimate, but yet in this live stream, a few minutes ago, you were saying, oh, you just come on and admit it. We did stuff. Maybe he doesn't want to admit it. Maybe because of the reputation that you have and how you make a point to be gross and disgusting, he doesn't want to admit it. He doesn't want anybody knowing that he made out with or is intimate with somebody as gross and disgusting as you. And you should take that and realize, you know what? The way that I behave on YouTube, it's so bad that the men that get around me, they don't want to be associated with that. Maybe I should do something about that. I miss pre-rage Cuba. Me too. <laughs> okay, enough with this. Let's go down to the comments. And by the way, the comments are being scrubbed. A lot of them are missing. Dark Tin 2 says, it will be interesting to see if she manages to eventually begin and complete her glow up. However, if despite comment moderation, she fails, then it's only fair to claim that it's not her critics who are responsible for her outcome, it's her. Is that fair to say? Well, Foodie's life is completely within her control and her power. Nobody can make th things happen for Foodie except for Foodie. She wants to be a victim so bad because then that absolves her of the responsibility of anything bad that happens to her. But just as anybody out there watching, your life is within your control. Her life is within her control. She's a victim when it suits her purpose. Uh, Sun says, I believe people will kiss and tell I'm sorry, I will believe people will kiss and then after say they're not into each other's type, perfectly normal. Yeah, that just seems weird. <laughs> oh, you're not my type, I'm not your type, but let's go ahead and make out. <laughs> Nothing wrong there. Uh, Dana T says, never kiss someone you pick up from a clinic. That's just a good rule to follow. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Picking up somebody for a first date at a clinic, uh, yeah, not my idea of a good time. Dana T says, maybe instead of fans, you should say subscribers. Well, she shouldn't call her VIBs her friends because they're not her friends. Uh, my other YouTube account says, where can I sign up for this new and exciting full-time job that doesn't pay and requires all of my attention and time in servitude of our queen? I need it. <laughs> Yeah, being a mod is an unpaid job, and in some cases, on some channels, you will be worked overtime. Foodie is certainly no ex exception. Life of Lindsay says, no comment shall pass. This channel is even worse now, and I didn't think that was possible. Yeah, I can always get worse. Uh, Sober Katover says, damn, they cleared out this comment section. Oh, yeah. The mods are in the comment section now. Boo, mods. <laughs> uh, Tila says, I don't blame you, Chantal. Roman didn't have to say anything about it, but he went out of his way to say you weren't his type when he could have just said nothing. You were certainly his type when he was shoving his tongue down your throat. Ew. In my experience, as long as there's a hole in it, most guys type, but they usually won't admit it. Well, some men will be intimate with women because they're attracted to them. Other men, they'll do it because there's some sort of benefit that they're looking for. I think when it comes to Chantal, I think we can all agree. He wasn't with Chantal because he was attracted to her. He was in it because there was the benefits that came with the aftermath of being with her. Let's see. So that's it for the comments, mainly because the, the mods are going crazy with the comments. 
Hope you guys have enjoyed this React video. If you have, please like and subscribe and leave a comment yourself. Thanks so much for watching and please have a good night. Bye-bye.